Divinity Design's layering combo dies are sets of dies that you can use together to create dimensional embellishments for your cards, scrapbooks, or home decor items. In our January 2020 Blessings Box subscription kit, we introduced our first layering combo die set. That's the heart layering combo, which is a set of four dies. You'll die cut and layer the three hearts to create a dimensional heart pattern. You can use the solid heart for a background layer. In our September 2020 release, we released two layering combo die sets. The butterfly layering combo, which is a set of four dies. You die cut and layer the three butterflies to create a dimensional butterfly pattern. You'll use the solid butterfly for a background layer. The diamond layering combo, this is a set of three dies. You'll die cut and layer the three diamond dies to create a dimensional pattern. For a background layer behind the design, you'll die cut a rectangle. Please note that the rectangle die is not included. When die cut, this measures five and a quarter by four and fits onto an A2 base card. I like to use the matting rectangle behind the diamond layering combo for a pop of color and then add this to the A2 portrait card base. Here's a sneak peek of two of the layering combo dies that will be released on September 15th, 2020. We have the sunflower layering combo. This is a set of seven dies. You'll die cut and layer all dies to create a dimensional sunflower. The pumpkin layering combo is a set of three dies, die cut and layer all dies to create a dimensional pumpkin. Let me show you just how easy it is to create using our layering combo dies. When using the layering combo dies, I like to mark my dies with a T, M, and a B for the top, middle, and bottom. This makes it easy when selecting my pattern paper so that I know how the dies are going to layer together. For my sample today, I'm going to be showing you the diamond layering combo die. Again, this is a set of three dies. You'll die cut and layer the three diamond dies to create a dimensional pattern. For a background layer behind the design, die cut a rectangle die. Please note that the rectangle is not included. Here you can see I die cut the three diamond dies to create my dimensional pattern. I'm using a matting rectangle for the background to add a pop of color. And then I have the A2 portrait card base. Here are my three dies. I've gone ahead and die cut them from cardstock. And I have two rectangles. I have the layer from the A2 portrait card base with layer. And I also have the matting rectangle just to show you the difference in the two rectangles used along with the H.U. portrait card base. Flip the top die cut over, and then apply glue to the back of your die cut. I'm using the Art Glitter Glue. It does dry clear, and it has a nice point to the top. I'm going to speed this up so that you don't need to watch me apply glue to the back of the die cuts. Flip that over. Adhere to the die cut middle panel. Then flip that over and add the glue to the back side. Flip that over, then adhere that to the bottom layer to create the dimensional pattern. Once that's dry, you can add that to your rectangle. For 
more inspiration, visit our samples gallery, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Pinterest and Instagram.